Monique Samuels did not come to play during the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion. Sis slayed and brought a binder full of shade. Fellow castmate Giselle Bryant took the brunt of Moe's bashing and now folks are asking if the former first lady is doing okay. Your pastor boyfriend is slinging his big D all around Atlanta. I got him in my little receipt book. Ooh. In addition to Monique and Giselle, all of the ladies, including Karen, Ashley, Robin, Candace, and Dr. Wendy, hit the Portugal theme set in their bright, bold fashions for the first of the three-part reunion. It's worth noting this was the first time Monique and Candace were in the same room since their winery war, but we digress. The highlight of the evening came when Samuels went on full attack mode, calling out Bryant for her fraudulent relationship with her ex-husband and now new boyfriend, Pastor Jamal Bryant. Rumors have been swirling that the pastor has been calling this relationship fake and that he recently had yet another baby with a woman who is not Giselle. This prompted Monique to head to the Bryant section of her binder and pull receipts, showing text messages from Jamal to his real girlfriend, stating that his relationship with Giselle was just for the cameras. It's not, not real. It's reality No, it's not. TV. It's disgusting. Did you want to see? Of course, I'm going to bring my receipts to back up everything that I'm saying. So while you sitting over here having fake fraudulent relationships with your, your ex, your kids ain't even happy about it. As Giselle just sat and tried to brush off the comments, she unfortunately had to admit that the telephone number attributed to the text in Monique's binder of receipts did, in fact, belong to Jamal. Yikes. Of course, Mo caught a bit of flack for her approach, but rebutted. If you want to come from disgusting. my family and my relationship, I'm coming right back to you. Monique then added, You sitting up here sitting like a darn fraud, bringing a different man onto the reunion every freaking year. I hope he's sitting behind you this year, Ooh. past the holy whore. Ooh. But the nail in the coffin may have been when Karen piped up and asked, Is Jamal coming? No, he's not. Of course not. not. Y'all, it was a masterclass in shade, and Twitter certainly ate it up. One fan tweeted, She shut the down. How does anyone come back from those receipts? Another stated, Monique, her binder, and Karen left no survivors. Look, it was indeed a massacre. But do you think Mo went too far or did Giselle have it coming? Let us know in the comment section below. For HipHollywood.com, I'm Vanessa Barnett.